robotic flexible ureteranoscopy was first attempted by Mihir Desai and his team, treating only a limited number of patients. Ramsey Saklam developed the first robotic manipulator which can remotely control all function of commercially available flexible endoscopes. Advantages of this new robotic master slave device for the treatment of kidney stones include improved precision with enhancement of stone fragmentation and dusting while reducing operator's fatigue and radiation exposure and prolonging endoscope longevity through torque elimination. Together, they may allow more efficient treatment of larger volume stones by robotic assisted retrograde intrarenal surgery, eroding the space previously dominated by percutaneous nephrolithotomy. Avicenna Roboflex is used presently in five urological departments and has been utilized in several live surgical procedures all over Europe and Middle East. To further increase its user friendliness and functions, further development was conducted. All commercially available ureterinoscopes can be used, each with a customized holder. The surgeon inserts a suitable ureteral access sheath and the technician moves the Roboflex manipulator to the docking position. The flexible ureterinoscope is introduced manually. The instrument handpiece is coupled and locked. Then the surgeon sits on the ergonomic console chair. Adjust the ergonomic MCC chair to view both control panel and screen and use all functions, storing this position into the system memory, which permits six users. Meanwhile, the laser fiber actuator is inserted into the straight scopes work channel, ready for use after pressing the MCC deflection touchscreen zero button. The fiber tip position is manually adjusted to appear just on the monitor screen's edge, fixed after activating the console eye button and then brought flush with the scope tip using the zero button. The flexible uteronoscope is manipulated with two joysticks. The right joystick enables precise deflection with a new integrated thumb wheel. The precision of the deflection mechanism is very important. The left joystick enables rotation and in and out movements of the flexible retroscope. Speed and precision of the rotation movement follows the surgeon's hand movements in an adjustable way to achieve optimal joystick control according to user's preference. Once the endoscope tip reaches the renal pelvis, the callus heel system is navigated to find the stones. Tracking and precise remote control of the laser fiber tip are very important for endoscope longevity by preventing unintended release of the laser firing near the tip of the scope. For safety reasons, the laser cannot shoot when the progress bar color is blue, which warns the operator that the laser fiber tip is too close to the endoscope surface. This part is to suggest the position of the laser fiber. As we all know, when we insert the laser fiber, the tip of the uteroscope has to be straight. To in when you initiate the procedure, you just try press this eye. Once you start press on this button, this is a fire button, you can see this red color. Then you are on and you are ready to fire. If you do the movement of the laser fiber, you don't have to touch the laser fiber because it's already mounted on a ureteroscope. So with this forward movement, FW, once you do that, you can see that the 4 mm of the laser fiber has come out. If you want to retract it, press on this. So this will retract the laser fiber. And when you see the blue, you are safe. When necessary, the laser fiber can be easily exchanged by the assistant from a properly selected accessory to capture and remove fragments to clear the kidney and send samples for analysis. In conclusion, the incremental improvements incorporated into Avicenna Roboflex console as described above 
allow better operator control of key aspects of the procedure. Releasing expensive staff resources while improving both safety and efficacy of our patients. Together with the elimination of radiation safety protocols and better comfort for the operator when treating especially large renal stomachs, efficiency can be improved when multiple such procedures are planned in a day's operating program.